We have an irregularity. The researcher we planted has been discovered by the Illuminados. You must be talking about that vagrant Spaniard. So where is he now? He's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village. Until he recovers the sample, we can't let him die. You don't need to remind me. Luis, Sarah. And I thought I was high maintenance. Alright my friends, welcome back to my no damage walkthrough for separate ways. This is chapter number 2 and in this chapter we're going to once again keep watching out for Leon and giving him some aid. But before we move forward we can actually turn back around and we can go ahead and collect a treasure. You can shoot the crows if you want, I'm not going to do it. They drop rewards. But as you know I, I really don't want to shoot the crows so I just let them be. But anyway, there's the treasure, make sure you close the well first and then pick up the pocket watch and now we can move on ahead. So for this first section we need to head in the direction where Leon first meets Louis and so we're going to get back through the village but I'm going to avoid most of the Ganado fights since there's no point in fighting them. And we can sell all of these things already. And let me just organize my briefcase a little bit here because I do want to buy the sniper rifle or the semi-auto rifle, what are you that will come in handy. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you. By the way, there's a female Ganado in the bedroom, just like there was a male Ganado in the bedroom when Leon passed through here, but not going to bother with her. However, I will dispose of this guy. It's amazing how they can give those kicks with that dress on. But anyway, let's pick up this hand grenade and we're actually going to use it right now. To dispose of the next wave of enemies quickly. That poor chicken, I don't even know how long it was inside that oven. Why would you put a live chicken in the oven? I guess there's some psychotic tendencies here that we might be neglecting with the ganados. Anyway, let's use the shotgun here. One shot and then follow it up with the knife. Give a few strikes. And now let's just repeat the process. One more time should do it. Hopefully. There we go. And we get the ruby as a reward. You'll notice that this area it plays out precisely in the same way that it does during Leon's campaign, the enemies are placed precisely in the same areas. But whenever you will have to go back through here later on, but whenever you come back there won't be any enemies, even if you leave them alive. So you don't really need to worry too much about battling them all because there will be no enemies here later on. I think she's pretty pissed because we just kill her, killed her husband, I think. I'm sorry Maria, I didn't mean to kill Eduardo. But anyway, let's use the knife here. It always allows us to save up some ammunition. And now for the next wave, I'm just going to avoid them. Probably going to shoot 
shoot them with the uh, shotgun. Actually, I might not even need to do it. No, I'll do it. It's better to be safe than sorry. See you all later. And now once again we're going to go through the village, but we can go ahead and collect all of the items once again and avoid fighting any of the villagers. You can still use the knife strategy, so make a hole through the door and take care of the enemies that way, but I'm not even going to bother with it, I think I can dodge most of them. And plus you can visit a few areas without them even noticing you. You'd think that some woman running around in a red dress and in high heels would be suspicious for the villagers, but as you can see they're all good doing their farm duties and so on. They don't even care. Maybe they're just normal villagers, these ones, who knows. Or then again, maybe not. Anyway, let's collect some more items. You don't really have to, it's not like you'll get a whole lot, but it doesn't hurt. Hey, that's not cool. Okay, I admit I was a little bit lucky here. Fortunately, I managed to get to break free before anything bad happened. Uh, I'm actually on the opposite side, so maybe you should turn around instead. There's going to be another one upstairs, but... We can avoid them. And like I said, if you really want to be on the safe side, you can just use the knife strategy. It works. But it will take a little bit, so instead we're just going to keep going, really. Get out of my house! I can't really object to this guy attacking Ada, I mean, this is private pro property after all. Okay, this isn't good. Oh, hi guys! Not again, goodness, these this women with their grappling powers, they're getting in my way. It's a good thing none of them grab data from the front, otherwise I would have taken damage. But hey, it's all good. Nope. I will see all of you later. Who knew that Ada could outrun a bunch of angry villagers in high heels, right? Anyway, here we are going to dispose of the enemies. It just makes it easier to collect the rewards. I, I admit that. Maybe I should have done that in the other area, but everything turned out fine, so there's no issues here. Plus, in this area, we can use the ladder trick, so everything's going to be fine. First, we're just going to make sure that everyone comes after Ada. It's very important. Follow me, boys. And we're going to wait up here. You need to be careful because one of them will throw all those gardening tools at Ada. But if we stay back here, then we should be good to go. I just noticed that some of them are wearing glasses. You'd think that after they were infected by Las Plagas, they wouldn't need glasses. But yes, it doesn't prevent glaucoma or something. No, I'm kidding. It's not because of glaucoma.
I'm being extra careful here because I don't want to get hit with one of those machetes or whatever. So that's why I'm standing back just a little bit. I think this guy might be the last one. So let's jump down and finish him off. And now we can go ahead and collect the rewards. So yeah, the strategy that I used here, it's precisely the same strategy that I used with Leon. But it works pretty well, you just have to be careful because sometimes they do throw stuff at you and somehow it manages to land a hit. But now we're good to go. At least they're taking care of the farm animals, so... At least it seems that they are. So that's not bad. Now if you jump down here, we'll be able to collect a gold bangle. There we go. There's one more Ganado in this area, but by the time I come back, he won't be there, so I'll get the end grenade later. And now we can get a treasure here, which is very easy to miss, because in order to reach, reach it, we need to use the hook shot. See those two Ganados up there? I'm going to dispose of them first. There we go, one down. And now we can use the hook shot. Get out of here. Fortunately, we can't reach this area with Leon. There's a few areas that only Ada can reach because she has the hook shot, but this next area, once again, it's pretty similar to when we first visited this area with Leon. So there's going to be Ganados throwing dynamite at us, but we can make them blow themselves up because they're really dumb and they like to throw the dynamite sticks right in front of them as Ada passes by which will actually come in handy. Hey guys! <laughs> He's going to blow himself up. Oh, he's still alive. Interesting. Well, let's try this again. No, you can't grab me. Throw the dynamite stick. There we go. Oh, somehow he survived that. I think it's the first time that I see a Ganado surviving a dynamite, a, a dynamite stick throw. But, oh well. There seems to be another one. Amazing. Oh, 
you can shoot the dynamites, he can make them blow up, but I don't want him to blow up too close to me, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Come on, just blow up. There we go. About time. What are you still doing here? Okay, and that's the last of them. You know, there really is no reason why Ada couldn't save both Leon and Louise right away. I mean, if she had, then Leon wouldn't have been infected with Las Plagas. So, I guess that's a mistake on her part. I mean, I guess they have to further advance the plot, but it really doesn't make any sense. I mean, she could have shot both of those two ganados and rescued Leon. I guess her timing isn't very good. Then again, you do have to keep in mind that Ada is the same person who... She was working as a spy in Resident Evil 2, yet she still introduced herself by a real name. And she even dated some Umbrella guy and she introduced herself as Ada. So, yeah, you know, maybe not the best. In fact, I dare say that Ada is actually a pretty bad spy, but anyway... We can pick up an incendiary grenade here. And now we can get out of here and we're going to backtrack once again back to the area where we were first in when we started this chapter. I'm going to give Leon an another helping hand, even though, like I said, all of that could have been avoided if Fada had rescued Leon and Louise before they were before Leon was infected with Las Plagas. Not going to bother with these enemies, but they might blow themselves up anyway, so let's wait for him to throw the stick. Maybe he dropped some Pezetas. Okay, let's grab those and now we can get moving. Nope. Not today, boys. Not today. That's convenient. And let's just get out of here. There's no enemies here for us to battle now. So instead we're going to go up. And we'll use... Or we'll take this path. And there's a hand grenade that we can pick up. And then we can turn around and leave. I guess if Ada saved Leon back then, then the game would have had, would have had like less plot points for us to solve, but hey, it would make this mission very quick. Okay guys, so here we have an entire village I think I forgot to pick up a spinel back there. There was a spinel in the corner, but it's all good. You saw it, so you'll get it. But we're going to avoid the villagers here. I'm sure you, you noticed that there's one Ganado that's carrying Leon's jacket around, but you don't get anything from finishing him off. Ada will only say that he's wearing Leon's jacket and she wonders why. 
I think it's purely because he wants to be the coolest ganado in the village. But we're just going to keep running forward. See if we can save Lee on steel. Hay un rumor que hay un extranjero entre nosotros. Nuestro jefe se quedará. Si la plaga es mucho mejor que la tren. Tienes razón. Es un hombre. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. You know, this is typical Ganado logic, I mean, why not kill Ada right away when you first took her down? No, let's bring her into this creepy cave, perform some bum ritual and then kill her because why not? We have to give her a fighting chance after all. I mean, of course this is video game logic, uh, but anyway. Chief Mendez and Sadler and everyone else, they really only have themselves to blame because they could have finished off Ada and Leon a long, long time ago. If they didn't drag things out, there wouldn't be an issue. It's like Chief Mendez, he takes care of Ada and he's like, well, what can I do with this one? Uh, I could kill her, but I guess instead of just killing her right away, I'm going to take her to the creepy cave and do this ritual and then cut off her head, why not? I mean... What could go wrong, am I right? Okay, so once again... You know what to do with the Ganados who throw dynamite sticks, it's always the same thing. Make sure that they blow themselves up and save you the bullets. I don't know how he got in here, but to be honest, the merchant, 
either there's more than one of them or the guy can teleport because he seems to be in multiple places at the same time and somehow he manages to get there always ahead of Ada and Leon so maybe there's like a bunch of merchants who are twins and they just go around and they have multiple selling points and multiple stars around the area By the way, I just noticed that Ada is indoors, but that thing that she has around her neck, it still blows with the wind and it still moves even though she's indoors. I guess they forgot to change that. But anyway, let's get going. We don't have to battle the chief, but we are going to have a battle. But it's a very simple battle. Here she comes in all her glory and she brought her husband with her, he's very proud of her, but anyway, we can blow up the barrel to deliver a lot of damage and hopefully take care of the extra ganados, there's only two of them here. I actually think that took care of both of them. Yep. Seems that it did, so we can take care of the Bella sister. And we're going to use the same strategy that we used before. So use the shotgun, knock her down, and then follow follow it up with the knife. And that should be more than enough. There we go. So that wasn't too bad. And there's a few more items that we can pick up around here. And we're almost done with this chapter, almost, we still have a few more things that we need to take care of. But we won't be coming back here. In fact, it's funny because after this chapter you'll jump straight to the castle. So don't bother with any of the enemies that you'll encounter as you leave this area. I would just avoid them, honestly. It's very easy to dodge them. And some of them even do your do you a favor and they just blow themselves up because why not? There we go. Seriously, at this point I don't know why any of the Ganados carry dynamite sticks. It just seems that it's really not an effective weapon. See you all later. We just need to get this started and then we can get out of here. Fortunately, I guess they can not jump through this window or something. So they go around and open the door instead, giving you plenty of time to make your escape. And we are out of here. And you can actually see them from down, from up here. You, if you look down with your sniper rifle, you can see them. 
they're just standing there they, they don't really want to deal with Ada they're like uh, guys if we go up there we'll probably die so might as well stay down here which is a pretty wise move on their part but unfortunately for them later on Leon will be passing by and he will finish them off so they're just buying themselves some time And that's all that we need to sell right now. This is the only path that we can take here. But first, there's a few items that we can collect here. And again, we can only reach them using Ada's hookshot, so we couldn't get them with Leon. So on the other side we'll pick up the last missing gem which we need to combine with the beer stein. Pretty sure that between Leon and Ada we've already killed a small population really. But we're going to move forward now and have a hand grenade in hand, it doesn't hurt. And in fact it will probably make this part a little bit easier. Because we have to battle a cave troll or El Gigante as they call him here but like we discussed before we all know that this guy really is a, a ripoff from Lord of the Rings let's get the handgun ready shoot away and we should only need to jump to his back once so now let's move away a little bit repeat the process I'm going to use the handgun as you can see the black tail fires pretty quickly so you won't have any issues taking down El Gigante that's why I didn't bother with the TMP here because the black tail it's just very quick a few more shots should do it there we go so we're going to shoot the parasite a few times and now let's jump on the back quickly before he gets back up and this should be enough and since the music stopped I'm pretty sure he's done for And I didn't mean to waste that bullet. <laughs> I was actually trying to dodge, but I guess the game decides to do something else. Anyway, we're out of here, my friends, and that's the end of this chapter. So it wasn't too bad. It's a long chapter. There's a lot of things going on and lots of fights, but there's a strategy to each fight. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later for the third chapter. Take care. You guys go on. Lewis. Hey, senorita, got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where is the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. <laughs> Fine. 
I can take a hint. I don't care who you are, as long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police. So he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. <laughs> 